that was dumb. We should have killed her. The fact that she just like hung onto the necklace and jumped is stupid. What is this? Open. That's fucking dumb. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a chest. There it is. Yeah. I say again, I'm so glad I, that they took out that stupid lock picking mechanic. What's going on? Not a whole lot, man. Um, you know, we've got this going, and I said it might not be too long. Uh, I think we can... Let me check how much time we've been going at. I think we can get through one more good mission. We've only been going for half an hour. Yeah. I think we can get through one more. Um, the biggest thing right now is just I'm a, I'm a bit short on time. And it sucks because I really wanted to do a stream last night. Uh, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, the link is in the description. Please go follow me on Twitter. That's where I put all my updates for the channel. You know, so I, I tweeted out last night. I didn't, you know, I, we were going to stream and then I thought, you know, we're not going to get to do it because uh, what ended up happening was a big ass thunderstorm came out of like nowhere. Oh my God, that should have been her head, yo. Um big thunderstorm came up out of nowhere and I did lose power last night so you know we were going to have the stream and then power goes out and yeah nothing we can do so first thing in the world but it sucks because I really wanted to get a backlog of stuff uh, because I finally got hired for a job so you know I'm gonna start working now I've still got school so my recording sessions are gonna become kind of limited you know, I'm, I'm going to be kind of short on time. So, you know, I really wanted to do like a, a long stream last night and get this big backlog up so that I'd have videos in the event that I couldn't record. And, you know, you guys by now, you know I'm going to try my best. I'm going to get as many videos out as I can, even if I have to record until 4 in the morning. You know I'm going to do that because that's just the kind of guy I am. But uh, it, it definitely did put kind of a damper on things because I'm like well now I have to do it today and while doing it today isn't the biggest issue it's just a lot harder because now you know I have to uh, alright here's our next one yeah we'll go here yeah okay um, <clears throat> it just sucks because now it's like, well, you know, I, I don't have a backlog, so I'm having to do it today, and, you know, I still have daily stuff that I have to do outside of YouTube. Uh, what time is it in my place? It is currently 12.40, uh, p.m., so it's like a day afternoon right now. Um... And, you know, it it doesn't suck so much that I have to record right now. It just it puts my life kind of on a constraint because I do YouTube, but I do have daily responsibilities that I have to take care of. I have stuff I have to do. So, you know, having to record during the day is a bit not harder. It's just it's a lot more rare that I'd be able to go uninterrupted and be able to get completely through a game and all that. You know what I mean? So it, you know, I'm not saying we won't get it done. I'm not saying that it's impossible and that it can't happen now because that's not the case at all. It's just that it'll be more difficult on me. But you know, I'm, I'm going to try for you guys. You know, I never skimp out on a gameplay from choice. I never say like, oh, no gameplay today because I want a day off. You know, it's because something happened and I, I couldn't get to it, you know, so I'm, I'm still going to try for you guys though, you know um, 
there may be a day I, I was saying this earlier but I was it was more for the gameplay not because you guys were here uh, there may be a day coming up where like oh bro I'm fucking sorry I did not mean to do that at all and his ass just died cuz he's not coming back up I feel bad uh, you know so <laughs> I was saying earlier there might come a time where you know in the days to come that we don't have two videos a day that's really kind of my thing uh, just because I know there are some series that do more well than others you know uh, I for one I enjoy playing Kingdom Hearts so that's why I'm playing it for the channel I know that the reception on it is not fantastic um, but I have you know I have seen that you know everybody likes Assassin's Creed you guys like the last Guardian stuff like that you know it's pretty annoying that times in Israel and the United States are different so it's hard for me to track the videos hey look man it's I, I understand that um, and I'm sorry that you know my time frame doesn't work for you perfectly but keep in mind there will never be a time that I do a stream and don't upload it to YouTube unless uh, some existential circumstance happens so like in the case that I record on twitch and for whatever reason twitch bugs out and doesn't keep my stream then it won't be uploaded and that's happened recently you know that that did happen um, but that wasn't my choice you know so if you miss a stream the video will always be here waiting for you it's okay you know so you don't you don't have to make it directly out to the stream to be able to see it and support it you could watch a video two weeks ahead you know and just catch up on the playlist if you want it's okay and I, I keep my channel pretty well organized so you know if I upload a video and it's part of a series it's going immediately into a playlist so if you ever miss something or if you ever want to check um, if there's a new video look in the playlist all the dates that they're recorded are on there uh, unless I forget to put it um, but yeah man the videos will always be on YouTube you can always check there so it's it is okay man it, even if you you know if you miss the stream the videos will be here waiting for you I always upload don't even worry about it you always watch the stream at mid is it midnight where you are right now 12 hours later in Indonesia so it is midnight right now damn so then when I stream usually like late at night that's that's midday for you right that's cool that's cool yeah uh, it it's okay though guys seriously you don't have to be here for every stream I you know it's awesome when you are because I love talking to you guys this is you know I say every time this is what I got into YouTube for was for the interaction between you guys and me because that's what makes it fun um, so yeah you being here to the stream is awesome don't get me wrong I love it uh, but you don't have to feel bad that you missed one and if you did miss one it's okay because the video will always be here waiting for you all the time um, but yeah uh, so what I was saying you know it, it for me it's difficult because I know some videos do better than others you know like the last guardian was a big hit Assassin's Creed is a big hit uh, we're just getting started with the wolf among us but it seems Sorry. like Hello, reception Clara. on that is okay to check on Lambus since the asylum's closing what brings you here the children in my cabin falling ill the usual tonics aren't working a cane too are you certain you're feeling all right of course I am miss Carl. this little bitch has pneumonia doctor nearby Bring her inside. She's got that pneumonia. She simply collapsed. Yes, she said the others took tonic, but it didn't work. I should think not. Ever since Elliotson was murdered, the district has been overrun with counterfeit tonics. <laughs> this one needs proper care. But without the appropriate medication, she and the others will quickly decline. What do you need? I need supplies. Plenty of them. And medicine. Some of the less common ingredients are being stolen and sold at auction. I'd be happy to help. 
damn, so we're Here's to blame this. for that. This Fry. Evie Fry. I'm Miss Nightingale. How do you do? Please hurry. We don't have oh, time. shoot. I did not even think about that. Florence Nightingale. Okay. The last mission we did is Jacob, the nurse that we freed, went to this girl and told her about it. Locate the pet. Oh, shit. We're on a time constraint. Oh, hell. Okay. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. Um, you guys are on vacation, and my man said he's got school tomorrow. Hey, look. You and me both, dude. I'm right there with you. Um... So yeah, I you know I keep getting put off because of the fucking cinematics and shit. No. Um. But yeah, so I know some series do better than others. So I'm. It's hard for me to know what videos to stream and what to just kind of do in my own time and stuff like that, which kind of sucks. Your first day of school in grade nine, yo, first day of high school. That's what's up, man. I hope you enjoy it. I know it can be a, a little bit intimidating, and, you know, it might suck a little bit at first. Uh, just go in and make some friends, dude. That's all you got to do. Go in, make friends, and you'll be good. I know it can be like... every. Here's the thing you got to understand, man. Everybody there is in the same shoes as you. Will they have some friends coming in from, like, elementary and stuff? Yes, that will happen. But understand that you're all in the same boat... And yes, there are going to be some people who are just innately assholes. This happens. But, uh, you know, you're all there together. So just make some buddies and have a good time, man. I'm, you know, you might hear this a lot and you might not believe it. But high school will fly by for you, man. It might not feel like it at the time. But I shit you not. My four years of high school blew by in the blink of an eye. And for the life of me, I like I almost wish I could go back because there were some good ass times that I had in high school. You know, it and it's okay to be nervous, dude. It's okay. That again, that's everybody. You're all there together. You know, it's a new school. You're gonna have to learn the layout, know where your classes are, you know, learn all that. But uh, you know, this you're all there. Everybody's having a learning experience. It's not just you, man. So, you know, you don't have to be like, ah, oh, you know, I, I don't know where anything's at, you know, or nothing like that. It is okay, dude. It is okay. Is it gonna hurt? Really? Man, you little buggers are level two. Get the fuck out of my face, please. Who do you think you are right now? I love how you mothers think you're a threat. You're level two. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, I know you, Asif. I know you. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'd hate to offend. Yes, I definitely saw your comment on the other videos, man. And uh, I think I replied. I could be wrong, but I think I did. Oh, he's level five. We got a level five cop out here. I was like, it's taking a minute to kill him. But yeah, uh, McAllen, it's all good, dude. It is all good. Uh, I know you're going to feel nervous, and, you know, I don't know how you are, but I know when I was in high school, I was the little guy, so, you know, I, I didn't necessarily get picked on anymore after middle school, um, but it definitely was like uh, kind of a new experience because for me, it was like... It's saying steal, but how do I steal his crap? Do I have to go behind him or something? Man, fuck it. Kill him. Jesus. That took too damn long. <laughs> Warning, assassins did not kill civilians. Well, what the hell? <laughs> okay. But Jesus, man. Yeah, though, man, like, uh, it's okay, dude. High school is a learning experience, and I guarantee you that within the first, we'll say, three weeks, you'll, you know, you'll have the layout good, you'll be making friends, you'll be talking, and it'll just feel natural, man. And then, you know, your next year, 
by the time you're a sophomore, you're gonna feel like you run the place, seriously. Uh, Cause you know, you're not brand new anymore. You're not part of the like, the few freshmen coming in or nothing. So you'll, you'll be good, dude. You'll be good, trust me. And look, if you get picked on or something, just tell somebody, man, you know? Just tell a teacher, be like, look, this guy's being an asshole to me. And you know, it's not uncommon. It might happen, you know. I got in a fight, and I'm a pretty passive guy by nature, you know. I don't instigate problems or anything, and I think it was my second or third year of high school. This guy just kept on messing with me and wouldn't quit, and you know, he put his hands on me, and we got into a fight, and we didn't get caught. But I gave him a black eye. He gave me this huge ass lump on the side of my head. So it just, you know. It happens, man. It happens. And like I said, I'm a pretty passive guy. So by nature, you know, I don't want to put hands on anybody. But it happened. And again, I was the little guy. So naturally, you know, everybody's like, oh, this kid's a target. But, you know, it happens, man. You'll be good. Okay. You assholes are going to get dropped. That's number one. Kia, bitch. Alright, kill him. Why are they beating the shit out of my mans? What did he do to you? Aside from pedal medicine, what the hell did he do to you? Be honest. You guys are just being assholes for the sake of being assholes. It's like, oh, medicine's better than his. Oh, hey, look, man. I'm, I'm not telling you to, to pity me. You, you don't gotta feel like that. Um, speak to the pharmacist. The boy dipped. What the hell? What in the hell is he doing? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Is this it? No. A random guy just came out and started beatboxing. What the it's fuck the just happened? I'm here to collect them. <laughs> You're already loaded on the cart. Please take them. Giddy up! You mean that card? Yes. Of course it is. Please be careful. Some of those items are fragile. You mean that card? Yes, of course it is. I don't have time for this. I've got 43 seconds to catch this card. In less than a minute. Yeah. No. I, I don't have a minute. So I'm gonna have to get there. Boost, get the fuck on, get the fuck on, get the fuck on, get the fuck on, get the fuck on. I got 28 seconds. This mission is bullshit. Oh my god, we're gonna lose. Hijack it. Go to roof. Jump. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Hijack driver, get the fuck on. We're gonna die. We're gonna lose. We just lost. We lost. Did not reach Claire in time. We- How the hell? You have to- I wasn't wasting time. How do you get to both people and then back in time? That's fucking ludicrous. Oh, that's bullshit. This whole mission is just ridiculous. And, you know, part of that was because freaking, you know, the one dude who was saying steal from, I- couldn't steal from him. I had to kill him. This is dumb. Okay. That's stupid. Ah. Alright. But yeah, uh, don't even worry about it, man. I'm sure your first day of high school will be fine. Um, get back to the cart to continue the memory. Well, thank God for this. Jesus. I'm glad they know that there was no freaking way that we could... That's so dumb, dude. I'm sorry, but it is. Like, if you give me this time constraint that I can't meet because the game is glitching out... That's why I don't like timed missions. This is stupid. Timed missions, to me, are dumb as all hell. And the reason is, like, take the one with, what was his name, Bob, I think.
take the mission with Bob. The dude was bleeding out, so my time constraint was his health. That's okay. But a time constraint where I've got four minutes to get halfway across town and then come all the way back. And, you know, it takes three minutes to be able to fight everybody off and then talk to the guy. Then I have to go all the way back within 40 seconds. That shit's not happening. And it's retarded if you think it is. You're back. And not a moment too soon. I hope you brought the medication I requested. How is she? She will recover. Captain Ellie, the children. Thanks to you, we can distribute authentic medicine now. But is that a permanent solution? I will petition to have regulations put in place. Lambeth is in your debt. It takes a long time to change things. But I'm not going anywhere, Miss Fry. Alright, that's two missions down in an hour. Do we keep going? I'll get one more mission done. One more. Just because I want a decent backlog. I want it. Um. Where else do I go now? Where else do I go? I think just Jacob's mission and then we'll be good. What is this? Breaking news. Man, I don't care about that. Yeah, let's go here. Okay. Now I miss the moment in the first day of being a 7th grader. Uh, yeah, man, you know, it. it's fine. You know, I will tell you this, at least for me, and I, you know, I'm going to tell you because people usually agree with me. I haven't met somebody yet that's like, oh, you're wrong. High school is a thousand and one times better than middle school will ever be. You know, and it's for a few reasons. One... Uh, in high school, you're you're very self-reliant, and for some people, that's you know, for some people that's great. For others, it's kind of hard because people sometimes are very used to being not babied but cared for. You know, you the teachers are much more lenient and they're more. You know, did you remember to do this? Did you remember to do that? Have you turned this in? In high school, not so much. It's very much you're your own person, and teachers will expect you to, if you have a problem, you come to them, not them come to you, you know? And some of your teachers will kind of be assholes. That's a given. You're known to be quiet in school. Hey, look, man, I was the same way. It's all right. They're, that's not like a flaw on your part that's not something you need to be ashamed of I was a quiet kid too but you know there's some goods and some bads that come with that one and this is a good when you make friends in high school they'll be friends who are very much like you these guys will have all your same interests they'll you know want to do the stuff that you do and it's, you know, you'll you'll see this very early on. It's because in high school, more so than other grades, I believe, because in other grades, you know, everybody wants to get along. And, you know, in middle school, everybody's trying to fit in. So you're all trying to figure out what to do and how to act and all that. And, you know, it kind of starts in middle school. But in high school, you'll very much see this become prominent very quickly. People will almost automatically form groups, and you'll be able to distinguish what the groups are almost just by looking. And I know that sounds kind of bad, like, you know, judge a book by its cover thing, but that's not it. You'll just sort of see people automatically group together based on what kind of person they are, and you'll see the people in these groups will all be the same. You know, you'll have uh, all the athletes will group together and all the athletes will be, you know, and this sound kind of bad, but they'll be just the big guys that talk about the sports and talk about the girls they're with and all that. You'll get the quiet guys who, you know, kind of keep to themselves, but in a group, 
you'll see them be having fun and laughing and just talking to each other and just having a good time, just happy to be with each other, you know? So, really the best advice I can offer you is find your group, you know? And when you find them, I'm telling you, these guys will be your, your greatest friends, you know? And it... It's not to say, like, oh, you need to find a group to be happy or nothing like that. But I will say that, you know, your group of friends, when you find them, will share all your same interests. And it's, you know, for me, I kind of went into high school having some friends because in middle school, like I said, I got picked on quite a bit. So... You know, I got bullied, I got beaten up, I got stuffed in lockers, all kinds of stuff. And I had a fair few friends who stuck up for me and took my side on stuff. Even if it meant they got bullied too, or like people looked down on them for being around me. They, you know, they were my friends. And these are like the diehard friends, man. These are the guys that I still talk to, you know. And, um... You know, I, I graduated in 2015, so it, it's been a while, but I still talk to these guys, we still hang out, you know, these these are the people who I've kept with me, being like the lifelong friends, you know. And uh, in high school, you know, I obviously made more friends, and I won't say I was necessarily popular, but I will say that there were, like, my name was well known. People may not have known the face but they knew the name you know even teachers uh, and I kind of built a reputation for myself as being just the nice guy you know if people had a problem I was the guy you go to so you know because since I've been picked on so much I kind of made it my job to be a friend to everybody and to take care of people and look out for them and because I didn't want anybody to feel unwanted you know, because I know, you know, guys like you even, who say, you know, I'm kind of nervous, I, you know, I'm, I'm the quiet guy. I didn't want people to feel like that. I didn't want anybody to feel like they had to be unsure or, you know, there was a possibility that they couldn't make friends. I didn't want anybody to feel like that. So I kind of made it my job to be like, hey, come into my circle. Come, you know, come hang out with me. It's okay, you know. If you, you know, you come hang out with me, I'll take care of you. You know, that was, I basically made that my mission. 